right. Here we go. All right. Everyone step back. Here, you, you, do you want to launch it? Yeah. Can you push that button? Actually, there? can my son launch yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, All right, buddy. here we go. Ready? All right, bud. Push, okay, push this, this button. button right there. Push this button. There we go. Okay, and then and swipe. This. <laughs> you got to push that thing, though. Come on. Ready? Ready? There you go. Yeah. Wow, First quadcopter look. launch. <laughs> All right. And I'll start taking video. And we'll, let's fly down the path. Wow, it really looks like Star Wars when you send it down a, you know, yeah, path. Like You're holding a DJI Phantom 3 professional quadcopter. It's about three pounds and it flies and it has an amazing camera, stabilized camera on it. So this is sort of the, you know, the, the third generation of these drones that are sweeping across the world, allowing people to capture low altitude imagery relatively affordably for the first time. There's a big change happening. You know, the, what's happening now is cameras are starting to become integrated fundamentally into these devices. And, and the radio I'm holding here has all sorts of manual controls. I mean, if I push this button here, it takes a picture, huh. you know, so, and if I push this other one, it starts and stops video. Video, right. So they're starting to feel much more like cameras that happen to not be in your hands than they are drones that carry cameras. Um, here, let me give you a little demo of the GPS stuff. So I'm going to walk over and, and it wants to be right there, right? So I'm going to drag it this way. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to say, <laughs> Sounds like it's angry. <laughs> see, look. So it wants to go back there. Wow. So you can see. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can. Uh... <laughs> so it's, it, it really wants to stay there. And you can see the stability if I push it. You know, it really. Uh, there's really not much you can do to knock it out of the sky. You right. Know, it's, it <laughs> yeah, oh, that's amazing. Oh, I should land it, not hover too low. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was long. Wow. What's happened is that basically computers have become, computers and sensors have become small enough to be incorporated into these drones. So what, what's happening is on all of the media trips that we've been doing, we've had scientists, scientists are always there because you know, the locations are interesting from a scientific perspective, um, but they are absolutely fascinated by what's possible. You know, kind of one-touch autonomous 3D mapping will change everything. Survey is just given now. You can just survey anything you want in 3D without surveyors. <laughs> wow, that's kind of amazing. Let's bring it back. What we're seeing now for the first time is generalized use cases, in many cases for good, um, tied to the word drone. And so what we found, even though you know, historically it might have a negative, negative connotation, is that it becomes a generic term for pretty much anyone who has any direct experience with one of the new consumer drones. And I think we're just going to have to adapt to the word because it's, it's, been, it's become the word and really there aren't any good alternatives.